And welcome to today's vlog. There's so much to do. So for one, I need to go to the dry cleaners to pick up Jordan's suit for our wedding. He's a bit nervous to see what the suit looks like because he has a horror story with his past experience with another dry cleaner. He once took some clothes in to get dry cleaned and they ended up washing them for him and just ruined these really nice clothes. So because this is his wedding suit for our wedding that we're talking about, he definitely wants to see what they look like now that they're done and ready for pickup. There's definitely some exciting things to do today like writing my dad's a personalized heart that says will you walk me down the aisle and I am so excited Ugh, I feel like I'm getting emotional thinking about it because I haven't asked them yet I don't know why I haven't asked them yet I had so many months to ask them and I just haven't because um, it just means so much to me <sighs> so um Okay, pull yourself together. I'm going to write those cards and then the time this video is up, I will have already asked both of my dads. And I'm so fortunate to have two dads. I have a stepdad and a real dad. Okay, so I worked for like two hours upstairs and I put my phone on work mode so I had no distractions. I actually got a lot done, so I'm really satisfied with where I left off of. So now I can just kind of focus on the things that I need to do. But I actually received a few packages today. Um, Jordan's watch is in, which is a wedding gift from me to him and I'll show it on here. And he already knows what it looks like. So I'm totally fine with showing it on the video. Um, and then I also got a cat stroller. I know, I know that probably sounds crazy, but my cat loves to go outside and we've put the harness on him before and he knows how to work his way out of the harness. And also he just gets a little scared when he's out there. So I feel like the stroller with it being caged in with this mesh wrapping around him, he'll feel more secure. Like I can make it cozy inside. So anyways, I got it. Here it is and I'm gonna open it right now. And I'm just really excited to see our cat's reaction. We have three cats actually, but of those three, one of them cries to go outside all the time. So this is pretty much for him. <laughs> so okay, hey Grayson, this is for you bud. <laughs> okay, how do you set this thing up? I feel like this is for an actual child and it's making me feel some type of way. Honestly, I don't want to read the instructions. Oh, whoa, it's literally like an actual baby stroller. Like this thing is legit and it wasn't even that expensive. It was like, I want to say I got it on sale, but after tax and everything, it came out to like $60 which I've seen strollers for dogs and cats to be like easily $100, which is crazy to me. Ugh, which one's the back? Which one's the front? I'm gonna pause this video while I try to assemble this thing. How cute is he? I haven't even assembled the stroller all the way and like the, the wheels aren't even on and he's ready to go. Grayson, you're so cute. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to take you outside. <laughs> Okay, I completed it. There's two extra pieces. I hope that's, I hope these are just extras and not like pieces that I need, but it is completely done. 
It was a very easy setup and he is ready. How cute. Baba, are you excited? His eyes. <laughs> Okay, I actually decided I'm gonna cut the cat's nails right now because they're just too long and they're starting to destroy his cat stroller and other things in the house. So I thought I'd record this because they can get pretty vocal at times and it's really funny. I don't hurt them, I don't make them bleed or anything. It's just they're such crybabies when I cut their nails. So enjoy this little <laughs> part of the video. Elsa's the one who doesn't like to get her nails cut at all. Say hi, Elsie. She's the one who gets pretty vocal. I do give the cats treats all together once they're done. Um, and I do have to, oh, she's so good. I do have to wrap them up in their little cat blanket that I have for them because they try to get out. So I wrap them super tight like a little burrito. <laughs> She's already not happy. Relax, Elsie. It's okay. We've got yeah, so many times girlfriend. Okay. Elsie, you're doing great. I'm almost done. Elsie, you're doing baby. Good job. Okay, I just kind of put all of their nail clippings on the floor and then I sweep it up when I'm done. It's the easiest way to do it. This, this is Millie. She's the sweetest. She's so shy out of all the cats. Anyone she meets that's new to her, she takes a while to warm up to. You did good, Millie. <laughs> Little girl. Okay, you can be released. Go on. like a little baby. Oh, come on, Grayson, just one more now. Good boy. Good boy. Thank you. It's like nothing ever happened. <laughs> so I wanted to show you what was in this box because this is Jordan's watch for our wedding. Um, and like I said, he already knows what it is, so it's no surprise to him, but this is the brand's name. It's not too expensive, this watch that I got, but it's pricey enough where, where it's nice. Okay, so this is the watch. It has like a little clear, film on it so it doesn't look as nice like I can touch it and not leave a fingerprint um, but this is the watch itself it's a super classic look very nice he is into the gold because he has a gold ring he has a gold wedding ring so this will match perfectly for him to wear on the wedding day and the, the blue inside is perfect because he's wearing a dark navy blue suit for his wedding I mean for his for our wedding so that is his watch super cute um this box here is for my bridesmaids so i'm not going to open this quite yet i'll save that for another video i'm not showing this now for obvious reasons i don't want to spoil the gift for them okay i took a little bit of a break i had some food now i'm just creating the letter for my dad's to walk me down the aisle and this is what i have so far so it just says, Dad, of all the walks we have taken together, this is one I'll, rem I'll remember forever. Will you walk me down the aisle? So it's very short and sweet. And then I'm just gonna send this um, to myself in an email, go print it up somewhere on the cards that I already have, and then just stick it in an envelope. So I'm pretty excited. I feel like this day is just flying by. Oh yeah dry cleaning services. This dry cleaning place is like literally down the street. I can walk there and our dry cleaning stuff has been ready since like last weekend. 
<laughs> and we just haven't gone to go pick it up. So I need to go pick it up so that way Jordan can try on his suit. Sweet, they're open until 7 p.m. It's only three. Cool. Then in that case, let me tell you about four days. Did you know that fashion is one of the most pollutive industries? So pretty much all of our clothing items will end up in the landfill. And that's a problem because chemical toxins are released from our textiles or whatever we put into the landfill, which is why I'm here to tell you more about four days because I truly encourage and love sustainable businesses that can help our future. And Four Days is the first circular fashion brand. So this is Four Days website and they have so many options to choose from for women and for men. But I'm going to talk about the Take Back bag here, which is what I recently purchased and it's only 20 bucks to buy, but you instantly get $20 back in closet cash. And you can use that or save that um, to get anything here on their website. Their stuff is actually really cute. Let's just go ahead and take a look at some of the items here. The style is very um, minimalistic and simple. The price on some of their items can be a bit pricey. As you can see, this is on sale from 132 bucks to 39.60. This one is not on sale, but it is pretty cute. So the more you send in your items to four days, the more you can save up to get something that you really like. So through their take back bag, which is their number one selling item, it's so easy. All you do is send them all your old stuff in this bag and then you earn the closet cash credits and you can shop their store. Like I just showed you, there's tons of items to choose from for men and women, including face soap, jewelry, and linens. And it's literally as easy as that. If you wanted to check out four days for yourself and read some of the statistics and more about their brand, Definitely take a look at that because it is very interesting. It even tells you about the founders here and it's very inspiring. So definitely check out their website if you're interested to learn more. Okay, now let's go ahead and continue with this video. So this is four days. This is their take back bag and pretty much you put all your old stuff, your clothing, any type of textiles. I know what you're thinking. Yes, even underwear, but of course make sure it's clean. Okay, so this is the bag. Ooh, it's pretty thick and spacious. That's great. So this is the bag, really massive. All the clothes that you can't sell or that you're trying to give to the secondhand store and they're just not taking it. Or if you have clothes or any type of textiles, towels even, old sheets, things that have tears in them. Example like this, this used to be a hand towel, but there's a giant hole in it and I cut it so that way I can use it as a cleaning towel, but it just doesn't do the job when it comes to cleaning. It's so like this sock has a hole in it, you can see. And I just would not feel comfortable giving these items, these clothing items away to people who actually need it because they're just, they don't even keep you warm. They don't do the purpose of what they're supposed to do anymore. Four days takes in even shoes. So check out their website to see under the FAQs what they can take in and you'll be surprised. They can pretty much take in almost anything and everything that you have in your closet or in your house. You can have your whole new wardrobe just by shopping four days. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> That's funny. It's as easy as that, you guys. This little thing carried this entire, this massive bag inside here. And I feel really good about sending my stuff to four days to help properly recycle my items that I no longer need. And I probably, if I were to sell it, I probably wouldn't get much money on these items anyways. So I might as well do a good thing here. Okay, so I'm back home and I thought I'd show you how greasing. <laughs> okay, there we go. I thought I'd show you how the cards turned out. It's so cute and it was very inexpensive. It was like $2, I think, total for me to have it printed. So this is how the card turned out. Very simple. I think it's straight to the point, but also really nice for them to like hold on to if they wanted. And then this is what I got for my cat at the pet store. This pet store is amazing. They have all kinds of things there um, and really nice healthy food options too. So like, do you hear your toy? Is that why you jumped up here? <laughs> he loves this toy. 
Three seconds. Are you happy? Your toy that's been broken is finally fixed because I went out and bought another one. This is Grayson's absolute favorite toy ever. I got them some other stuff. They have never used this before. They love treats and I figured this would be a fun way for them to... Oh my God, Grayson. Oh, okay, he might take it, yep. That's what he does. <laughs> he loves to just take that toy and like go hide it somewhere. Cool. So you put the treats on the bottom through here and then you fill it up and then once you're done, you close it off and then that way no treats can come through the bottom and then you just let it come through this little hole here. So that'll be fun for them to try out. I got them some this is mostly for Elsa. She's very picky. The other cats have like liquid treats like this in a little tube, but Elsa does not like that kind. So I got her something else. Hopefully she'll like it. Also some wet food. They used to only eat wet food and now they just won't. And I don't know why it's the weirdest thing ever. Like what kind of cats don't like wet food? So recently I decided to retry the wet food with the cats and now Elsa is eating it, so I got them. I got mostly Elsa wet food, but I thought of the other cats too, in case maybe they like it, so I don't know. It's weird. But I'm gonna end the vlog here, so thank you so much for following along with my semi-busy day. Tomorrow is gonna be even crazier. So if you wanna see my daily life, follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of stories and I don't know if you want to keep up, you can follow me there. See you guys in my next video, which is on Saturday. I upload videos every Saturday, so I hope to see you guys there. And if you want to see some more videos and don't want to miss out, make sure to subscribe. So until next time, bye guys. No <laughs>